Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you some stuff that I found on my camera and it's pretty crazy. Um, it's a little scary to me because um, we just moved into this apartment that we're living in and I don't know, we just, we haven't felt quite comfortable and, um, and then also my camera's been kind of like messing up so I thought, oh well I need a new camera but now I kind of know why and let me show you the video so um oh yeah and then after um there'll be a quick um tutorial for Halloween I just kind of figured I'd put them together just to save and put them in one video so um yeah take a look Did I? <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be doing this quick tutorial. It's a good last minute costume. All you need to do is wear black. Very simple. You should have all this stuff in your makeup collection. And this was inspired by this girl on Instagram. And there's my little picture too. So here we go. Let's grab a primer. Everything I picked for this tutorial has been affordable drugstore products. And there's the primer. And now let's use a concealer. You can use, um, a foundation if you want the concealer is just thicker and just make sure it's also like a skin tone lighter than yours or maybe two and then let's do a primer we got to make sure all this black is gonna stay on our lids and then we're gonna go for the jumbo eyeshadow pencil by NYX this is a milk this will be a nice base for all this black and this is a um, Wet n Wild palette. Use their matte blacks. They're really good. And this is in Blue Hat May. Uh, hello. And we're going to go ahead and just swipe this over the entire lid. There's no nothing special here, but just kind of make it rounded at the ends. And kind of, yeah, take it around like that. So it looks kind of hollow. And then we're going to take a crease brush or a small brush and kind of go around. Once again, we're making it round and you're going to go all the way under from both sides and kind of blend it in there. And now you're going to take the same brush and kind of bring it down, make it into an upside down V. Um, in your case, make your V a little bit closer to your nose. I put mine a little bit too far. And that way it kind of looks like you have some bags and lines under your eyes because she is not a pretty woman. At the top of your nostrils, you're going to go ahead and make this mark here just for some more ugly definition. And you're going to take the same black and put it in your cheekbones. Make sure to do the fishy cheeks when you're doing it and go ahead and blend it out a little bit, especially if you have a heavy hand. I probably had a heavy hand throughout this whole video. And we're going to go ahead and do definition under your um, face right there around the neck and the chin. Just kind of give it way more definition like you are dead. And we're blending a little bit more. And this is what it should look like at this point. It kind of looks like an alien to me. And now we're going to bring out some ugly features. So go ahead and bend your face up and kind of um, put everything in the creases there. And if you don't have any wrinkles on your head, um, you know, your, your forehead doesn't do that. Just go ahead and make your own like I did right here. Like I said, a lighter hand is a better hand with these kind of things. And there we go. There's all your little wrinkles and stuff. You could add more if you want, like I am right here. You could do it in your smile line. You could do it wherever you want. Um, the more, obviously, the better. Like I said, light hand, light hand. So at this point, I'm trying to blend out all my heavy-handed work this time around. But it still works because you're not supposed to be pretty, like I said. And I'm not, here I am using my fingers to blend out. To me, my fingers are my best blenders. And there she is. And now we're going to be taking this purple eyeliner 
and we're going to be creating veins and I don't know what happened to this part of my video but we missed the whole forehead part so you just kind of make little um, Y's and V's and little branches kind of like you would like a dead tree and then we're going to go ahead and cover it with baby powder so it gives you more of a dead dead look and put it all over everything so that way it kind of looks like all the lines and stuff are underneath and we're going back with the black and we're going to do our eyebrows. We're going to just trace over our normal eyebrows. Um, you can use a brow pencil or a powder. And then I'm going to definitely use a eyeliner, um, not a liquid, uh, to make her have some furry extra brows because I really don't have that much brows anyways. And if you do, just make them crazy. And now we're going to go ahead and use our fingers and kind of blend that pencil out so it's not so rough and it looks a little bit more natural. And then we're going to go ahead and cover it with powder so it sets and once again so it's kind of just blended in. And if you want some pizzazz like I did and for some dimension, go ahead and add like a sparkly black on your lid and right below your lid. It just gives, like I said, a little bit of dimension. And here's our beautiful lip gloss for the night. It is concealer. You're going to go ahead and pat that and get that as much as your lips. Get away all that natural color. And then in the middle, we're going to take that matte. Um, black eyeshadow and put it in the middle. Also gives more dimension, like her lips or something in. And at this point, I'm just cleaning up everything and adding more baby powder. And if it gets all over your black shirt, it's alright. Use some dry shampoo, hopefully full can, unlike mine. And it's going to make your hair white. And then we're going to make our hair all super crazy, which is very easy for my hair. Just to make her a little bit more crazy. And if you want to, you can add mascara. And that's the finished look.